Actually, the next song we're going to play is uh, it's called America's Son, uh, a song that like is kind of it's just kind of important to us in in our evolution as a band and as friends, and it just kind of basically is about how wherever you're from. This is a backdrop I just came out. Hold on. What's happening, man? I'm fixing this up. Hold on. Now, I mean, you can just go live if you want. I was going to go back into intermission, but you're welcome to start painting if you're here. Yeah, I just turned the open off. The snowball's unplugged. Yeah, it's live. Oh, hey, everybody. Cameron's got to go eat. Cameron, I left your food in the oven. Look who did the cooking tonight. You put... I, I'm I just did. kidding. I don't want to put it in the oven. You just left it in the oven. That's the furthest thing away from cooking. That's literally you doing nothing. This doesn't seem to be working. I must have the wrong cord. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I'm not sure where this painting is going. It might have paint on my face. I'm not sure. Hard to tell. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know what happened in this painting. But it's always a challenge when you're not sure where this thing is going. So you kind of jump over to this other side. Cameron's going to eat. I don't know how to jump to the other camera, but uh, I'll just try to stay out of the way and use this one camera. And um, I'm going to paint something here. Some big buildings. That's always kind of fun. I hope y'all are coming back and somebody's watching. If not, I enjoy doing this anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if I saw... Somebody else out there painting, that wouldn't be so horrible, would it? I know Kay Ray is painting. If there's other people out there, Saturday night, making some art, it's not a bad way to spend it. But uh, I appreciate anybody joining us. Cameron makes some cool films. We don't know what's, it's kind of frustrating with the whole cutting this off thing, but oh well, what are you going to do? It's amazing that they even let us do this live broadcast. I mean, it's like you're in the studio with us. We don't always know what we're going to paint. I do know that I should be over on this other side. That's adequate enough. There. I'm gonna need. Now this is how you make paintings. You just keep working it until you find it really interesting. So I could be working on this all week next week. This is just the beginning. I don't really like that tree going all the way through it. So I'm going to come back up in here. I do like that. The camera gets back, he'll use our second camera. But for now, that's kind of cool. Looks like the light's coming off of the front of that building. This guy's completely stressed out here in the stress bubble. This guy's angry because his rent's due. And it's understandable. And it's hard to get by when you can't leave the house. I don't know how everybody's doing it. Luckily, Cameron's doing a lot of cool stuff around here. And uh, all I have to do is come over here and paint. It's an unbelievable situation. I know this may look. 
look like the president, but it's not really supposed to be. Not orange. It's really just every man. Kind of fun, you know. I can end up putting a lot of character on these guys. Or just leaving it sort of uh, abstract, I'm not sure. There's no pressure because it's just a piece of canvas. If it doesn't become anything worth even looking at, it doesn't matter because we've enjoyed the night together. Hearing from some old friends. Maybe y'all are getting excited about this deal possibly being over. Anytime y'all wanna come over here and watch us paint or make some movies, we're gonna be keeping this thing going. Just cause we enjoy it. our canvas comes in I'm going to put this giant piece down at shipping and receiving in the tilt gallery there and uh, people can go see that one and then I'll work on the second one I have a feeling we're going to be quarantined longer uh, than a few more weeks just getting that vibe. I mean, I'm kind of digging it. My boy's cooking for me. We're healthy over here. I hope everybody's staying healthy. My mom's healthy. So that's cool. Very important to me. Hope everybody else is doing well. Looks like the big urban centers are really getting hit the worst. I don't go anywhere, so it's very rough, rare for me to get anything, but my boy's out there every day, so I do worry about it. So, I don't know if this is a nurse or what that is, but... some red back on there. This dude's stressed out. Everybody's stressed out. I don't know, y'all. going here.
cool trick is just to keep painting and step back and see what it looks like. And hopefully it keeps looking better and better. Fireworks off out here in Burleson. Must be pretty excited to get back to the shopping mall. I hope that's fireworks, although a lot of people around here do practice night shooting. We don't, but we get away with it out here in the country. Night protesting for sure. These guys are not happy here. Well, that's kind of interesting there. windows in there. That way our mind will say, okay, that's off in the distance. This will have a big flag thing going there. Dude here is angry. Got no job. Got no money. Nowhere to turn. I think the whole thing's overblown. Plot of some kind. Trigaudi has said, according to one post I saw, that the whole thing's a democratic hoax. I think that's what he said. So I'm not really sure, y'all. I know I'm staying home. I don't think, I don't know how it can be a hoax all over the country, all over the world. It's crazy. That's all I'm saying. The view from here. Husband's angry. She's concerned. Not necessarily as angry as he is. But she's got to support her husband. seemed so smart before. Politicians don't know what to do. Jeffrey Myers, I hope you're, you joined us again. My old friend Jeff Myers was watching. I'm sure he would love to be here in my studio with me. was in art school, he uh, helped me with my business, finances, 
I'm not a big math guy. He's a numbers guy. I'm gonna make this guy have a suit on here. Y'all can see that, but he's looking pretty cool. Got his suit back. I guess they've all got masks on too over there. Some people think it's a hoax, y'all. I'm not so sure. I don't know why we'd be going through all this money paying if it was a hoax. tonight, but, uh, just something I've been thinking about. Can't quit her until I'm ready. I see, like she's looking good. This little baby here is needing an explanation. What's happening? I think this is starting to look cool, though. Charlie, come on over here. My little dog's acting crazy over here. Anyway, most of this stuff out here, being an artist, is just over here by yourself trying to figure out what looks good. And then hoping the next day somebody will be interested in your post. On Instagram and tell you what they really think. I'm gonna put a mask on this guy. All American mask, probably too. Both of them. things. Oh, a little okay. tan color here. You're liking it. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, because I wasn't sure. It's a lot less um, Twin Towers. Okay, yeah, I really wasn't going for a Twin Towers thing, you know. Seriously. Okay, I'm going to get the camera set up. This, this is more of a protest thing. These dudes are all very angry about not going back to work. I don't blame them. I'm not even 
even sure if we're broadcasting. We are. Oh, okay. I'm enjoying it either way. I would have come over and, like, stopped you. Reattach the brass cam. Oh, well, I couldn't have done anything with that anyway, so that's all good. With what? With the whole uh, camera. I was going to try to figure it out. Oh, well, that would have been fun. A fun little segment. That would have been. I should get, maybe that's a game we could play. I should get some sort of new technology, if we had expendable income at least. I could get some new technology with buttons and... Just hand it to you and see if you That'd can figure it out. Make fun of the old guy. Yeah. That's always a I funny, mean, you could get do funny, the same and bit. you could do the same. Hand me some really old technology and I could try and figure it out. That's but, true. Or like a tool or something. Yeah. Hello. How to operate the lawnmower? Those are pretty, pretty simple. Those are pretty simple. All right. Let's hook the. GoPro up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know somebody probably really liked how that suit looked, but I didn't. I did at one point, but now I'm going with something else, okay? I brought some Starburst, by the way. But, oh, you are a stud. Yes. Really okay. Um, Sherry Corbell says, hey guys, what did I miss? Looking good. Are you purposely making the shadow of the first guy, my guess, a politician, to portray him as the fat cat that they truly are? Yeah. That's how I'm reading it, and love it. So true. So true. Could be the corporate wig with the political uh, pressure. Uh, Anastasia says, great art, Brad. Thank you, Anastasia. Appreciate it. I hope I said your name right. The, uh... Brad cam is a lot further back, but it's actually kind of nice. Is it working? Yeah. Okay, I'll see see what you guys think. Uh, come on, come on, no, this mouse. Is to represent documents. Damn. Oh. Well. There we go. Yeah, it's further back, but I don't know. It's a nice wide shot. Is it it's supposed back? to be a close-up, but yeah, somehow it got moved further back. Did you change the set? Oh, Sweet. maybe. It's possible the lens got changed. When I that it happens. There we go. Move this up now. Look how cool that little blue stripe looks back there, man. I mean, come on, folks. That is go. awesome. I could even probably bump it a little closer. With me. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. I didn't like that bowl. Closer. Bam. That's the shot we had. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see. But I gotta, I gotta zoom out a little bit on this one. No. Why is that the case? I don't know what happened to this fuel. No, I'm going. Oh. I'm going back to the slightly wider. Okay. There we go. Linear. Cameron's in charge of this, y'all. All right, that's better. I'm always looking for some new direction. Sometimes you're thrust into this new direction because you don't like what's happening. So. Uh, I got, Sherry says, I got you guys on YouTube on my TV tonight. So all cool right. to. Alright, excellent. Um, Y'all all big. How's that new camera looking on YouTube? So cool to see y'all big and without readers. Oh, nice. Yes, you can tune us into the YouTube, and that's kind of cool, y'all. The quality could probably be better on the Brad cam. The uh, other angle has a lot more pixels, but what are you going to do? Okay, there's something happening here, y'all, and I'm starting to feel it. Okay? Is anybody else feeling it? Because I definitely am. 
It looks like you have a, like a, like another dimension coming in onto that house. I sure do, don't I? Ah, <laughs> yes. And I like that shape better than that circle. That circle was too much like that painting I did yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, you shot out the whole thing with the circle, so I'm not surprised. I mean, that was just too much. What was I thinking? That was a mental warp there, y'all. This is very Art Deco looking. It is? Mm -hmm. That's a compliment. Yeah, of course. In my opinion. It is. Now, anybody can see that I don't have big arrow signs or anything on this one. Does anybody think I need that? No more smokestacks either. No, those got, got lost in the shuffle. Is anybody seeing... Uh, any reason for airplanes or some of my other stereotypes? Because I'm getting insecure, so now I'm wanting to lean <laughs> back on my... Lean on what you know. What I know, y'all. So what's going on with the uh, nude kid? The nude kid! Right here. Okay. I'm just not sure what this character is. Who has an idea? I don't know enough about kids today, what they're thinking about. They're not usually naked in protests. <laughs> you know that much. That's true. Nobody really wants an angry guy on the painting in their house. So, uh, I apologize about this guy. He's angry right now. And a lot of them are angry. Maybe that's All their spittle is spreading the coronavirus at their fellow protesters. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Put the spill in there. You got the wide eyes and the spittle coming loose. Very angry. I do like the abstractness of the the non uh, descriptness of the politician guy. I do too, because he's just like his stuck in his the shape is enough to recognize that he's a politician. Oh, really? Well, in the suit and the flag. Yeah, he's got the flag. The flag's right literally here. coming out of his head. So, basically, let's put a little highlight there. No, I'm not at the stage where I've got to detail my flag yet. So don't get me started on that, please. Don't even. I'm at the loose stage. Oh, where it's starting to look kind of cool. It's been looking pretty cool this whole time. Oh, okay. Well, I can't ever tell. I'm I do like the red glow in the rage sector. Yeah, I do too. I really like that. Got to keep that going. That's going for sure. Now I'm going to put some other windows in here just to give it an architectural element, which does help when it's on your wall. Yeah, that color of building makes it look a lot more like a um, government building. With, oh, really? Oh, that's Well, good. with like marble and, you know, big yeah. slate concrete buildings as opposed to it being like um, gray, stone gray. Yeah, which is cheaper for people to build than the government who spends a lot of money on their mm -hmm. buildings. Well, they do want them to last forever. Why don't I make this the treasury building? Anybody got any objections to that? Pretty important building in our world right now. Yeah. Treasury. What does that look like, Cam? Would you look that up real quick? And I know there's one over in Dallas. Where's Fort Knox? I don't it's know. not too far from here, I think. Not from here. That's in Ohio or something. Where is Fort Kentucky. Knox? It is in Kentucky. Thank you. Interesting. I don't know. I assume... You didn't have to Google that. Well, I assume Jerry, that... Uh, huh? Somebody back me up on the just personal knowledge. There is a Fort Knox home security and alarm company in Dallas, though. Not the same thing. No. Um, ABC. Well, it's in Kentucky, so I assumed it was in the south because Kentucky is... Uh, southern. But turns out the south is pretty big. And not very. <coughs> some of the times it's not very southern. I gotta get a drink, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay. I was looking up the treasury building. 
Okay, when I get back, I want to see a picture of that. Texas Treasury Department. Bam. Kelly, good to see ya. Thank you for coming in. Images. Uh, we're just looking up. Oh, the U.S. Treasury. Here we go. That looks good. There we go. Sorry we've been getting kicked. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, sorry if the stream is a little laggy. I know what to do about that, but not tonight. Uh, there we go. That's a pretty fancy looking building, the treasury. The later it gets, the more red my eyes get. That's how it works on Saturday night. That's how it works on Saturday night, staring at this computer. I'm, I'm tired. This is looking cool, though. Let's go back to the Corona cam. Bam. Bam. Corona? Cam. Corona? Cam. Cam? Corona. Corona cam. Okay. So the Treasury Department looks exactly as you would think. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, wow. A lot of columns. Okay. Crap. I didn't draw any columns. That's a government building. Of course there's columns. Okay. Good point. I don't know what I was thinking. But you don't have to do columns. You can do something that's else that's similar that just calls it, you know. And that's just the United States Treasury. That's not the local one or anything. That's true. There's all different ones all throughout every state, so. Kelly Reed. Kelly Good. Reed. She's quite a dancer. Check her out on YouTube. She's... Uh, is she uh -huh. on YouTube? Or not YouTube. Uh, Instagram, probably. Instagram. She's starting a whole new mom dance craze. Mm -hmm. That's obvious. You thought Ellen was doing it? Nope. She's not even a mom. It's Kessler Bessler on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And she can all also... Not Kessler. Kelster. Kelster, okay. Because her name's Kelly. Oh, Kelster, okay. No, I get it. All these years, I didn't understand that. <laughs> What is a Kessler? Kessler, it's a theater over in Dallas. Spelled differently. Kelster, okay, now I get it. I don't really read very well with the ADD problem. Mm -hmm. I experienced some issues with reading. Uh, Sherry says, really liking this one. Definitely want to reserve a print. Well, you know hey, who to go hey, to. There you go. Sherry, you're going to have to. Sherry, you don't have to send us an email. Crazy. You don't have to send us an email. Just you know, send me a Facebook, and I'll get you the details. Send That's me a... awesome. This one is really, really cool, though. Is it? Mm hmm Wow, I didn't even know. I got this kid looking like his dad a little bit. No. Kelly says, it's me. I won't add anyone she doesn't know on the Instagram. But, you know, they can still look at the videos. Unless it's private. It might be private. I don't know. I don't know how all People that at work used to call her Kelster Belster back in the day. That's where it came from. All right. Sherry Corbell says, white power. No, just kidding. She's doing the uh, okay symbol. <laughs> okay. Which is, you know, that's what, that's what people say that means now. I don't know what that means. What's weird about that thing is I think it's one of those... Had people not made a kerfuffle about it, it wouldn't have become a thing. Because people made a kerfuffle because there's like a conspiracy. It's kind of like the toilet paper thing. If there wasn't a problem with the toilet paper, I mean there wasn't a problem with toilet paper, so people got heard that there was and then they created one. The OK symbol, um... What? I haven't heard anything about this. You don't pay enough attention. The OK symbol was not originally a white power thing. Or if it was, it was not used widely. Then people started complaining about it because they were like, "Look at all these people using it. They're all white supremacists." Really? And it was like, "No, they were just saying okay." But then that got popular, so that the white supremacists did start using it. 
What? No, no, it's like a thing. Are you kidding me? No, Where not at all. I when all this occurred? I don't know. Dealing with cancer, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, that figures. It's a pretty good distraction. Yeah. Does anyone know if limes are related to apples? Limes? Well, the only reason I say that is because I, I drink this lime water, They're fruit. which is delicious, um, but it tastes like apple water. Not apple juice, but like the the it has a hint of apple on it. Every time I, I like green apple. Not, that might just be the tartness of it. I don't know. This is looking great though. This is looking really cool. What is this painting? What do you think really? we're doing? Oh, okay. what, what what do you even you know? I don't know, man. I'm just trying to have fun here. Yeah. Well, I imagine if you're not in the liberal scene or the white supremacist scene, you wouldn't have heard about that go that back and forth but that's definitely a thing that happened really this mm -hmm. is too sad yo okay. the, the common folk of america do okay didn't pay attention anymore. i mean he can but most people don't care this kid's not happy i don't know what his character's gonna be i'm gonna go put my jacket back on because it's not hot anymore and i want to look handsome okay he's going with the full-on journalistic approach this kid is, uh, what's he doing now? His mom's got her hand over his shoulder. He's not holding dad's gun, is he? I've heard of people holding their dad's gun. Is this the last place that maybe they're holding? Maybe work. they're having a father-son moment where they're holding the he's holding the gun and he's like you know kind of how they would teach each other they're, you know one hand's over the other hand now this is that's not a cute scene that's happening no he's got more of a <laughs> poke and stick like a, uh, uh -huh. no it looks like a gun i don't know what he's got here i mean the child could be holding a gun could he yeah why not is he too young to have open carry? That's kind of the point, right? Oh, is it? Okay. Let's see. Maybe he's just going hunting. I mean, no, there's a lot of people that were showing up for those protests with guns. That's, That's true. what I'm saying. Okay, we're commenting on that. Maybe note. it's just a short person. It doesn't have to be a child. No, it's a child. It's a whole family scene here. Yeah, right? can't you tell? It's naked. No, he's got a... Where's the Schwanz guy? Is she a Schwanz lady? Cameron Is that why he's naked? Met the Schwanz guy naked one time. I think it was more than once. Yeah. That was before I knew how to tie a tie, though. So. You know, I had to show off somehow. Oh, pitchfork! Sherry says pitchfork. Pitchfork's a good idea. That's a really good idea, Sherry. That's what I love about it, being friends with creative people mm -hmm. that come up with all Doing the stream. Of ideas. Nice, healthy stream online. She's, he's got a tiny pitchfork. I like it. You gotta paint out that other part. But... I got a lot to paint out of this. <laughs> this is what happens when you go into a thing improvising. His head's too small. Corona cam. Much better angle on those children's. On the children. On my children's. So as per usual, we're going to go until about 10.30. That's about an hour and 15 minutes left. Um, he's got quite a bit done, though, just like by the last stream. In fact, I think the you have more done now than you did on the by the time we ended on the last stream. Maybe, but this looks like a tiny man, bald man. <laughs> well, sometimes that happens. Oh, sorry, turtle. The dog's down right here. Take a shot. He's breaking my equipment. No, breaking your dog. That's my equipment. Okay, that guy's angry. His wife's like, dude, what? You're going to get, get a grip, dude. The cops are coming. His wife's like, don't tell him I voted for Hillary. No, she didn't. Not in this painting. And a politician is really cool looking. Is he? Fairy art deco. Oh, okay, that's what I like. Well, just the shapes. That's the thing that Art Deco did so well, especially in their illustrative 
uh, style is they turn people into shapes. Yeah. But the, we're still representative of what they do, of their job or of their character. There's that spittle. I mean, what if this guy's like a coal miner? He's doubling. He's got the black lung. He's coughing up clouds of. No, I don't mean like that. I mean, I'm just saying that. Uh, <laughs> Nothing's going in his direction. His industry is shutting down. Yeah, his industry is dead. He doesn't want to admit it. Well, I mean... Dying, not dead. It's a dangerous industry. I can't believe they haven't figured out how to automate that anyway. I know. Well, I'm trying to get us off of those... Kelly boys. says gotta go put the boys to bed. Have a great night. Good night, hey, Kelly. Good night. Good night, boys. And Samson. Hopefully he's not dreaming of any spooky guys. Oh, not you're probably not still there, but we they the competition officially ended just the other day on the midnight um, of the first or of the 29th. How many days were in the last month? Thirty. Thirty. Anyway, uh, so we he's he and his wife Corman and his wife are going through the um, over two thousand plus entries. Whoa. Uh, there were a lot of really bad ones. And I'm not saying that to inflate my ego. There's just like ones that either didn't follow the instructions. I saw one that was absolutely gorgeous and the story and the directing was really good. And I was like, oh man, this is, this looks amazing. What what phone did you shoot it on? Like what kind of lens attachment? And he was like, oh, I shot it on a Canon C3100, you know, B. Some sort of fancy, really expensive camera. And I was like, oh, okay. I thought you were, since you hashtagged Roger Corman, I thought that the Corman challenge that you uh, were entering this into this phone competition. This film film on a phone competition. And he did not reply to that. Oh. I think he did not. He <laughs> didn't read the directions. He didn't oh, read the rules. Artist, it doesn't read the directions. That's a real shock. Which is fine, because that stuff looked better than any other thing that was shot on a film that I saw. Or f shot on a phone that I saw. Because he shot it with an actual camera. Obviously. I thought ours looked pretty good. Oh, it totally did. For a movie, or for a camera that doesn't have any whatsoever any sort of depth of field or anything. It was pretty good. I thought it was. If I don't say so myself. Alright, he definitely looks like, uh... Hold on, what's that actor's name? From Princess Bride. I don't know, but I'm starting to like this, you guys. This is how it happens. I get about a few hours into He looks it. like Wallace Shawn. I don't know who that is. You would recognize him. <laughs> He's actually in a lot of Star Trek, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that guy looks like, the kid. Yeah, he does. that's exactly who I thought it was. It's inconceivable that these people are out wear wearing... Wanting us to stay home. Oh, nice. Uh, K Ray says she just finished the painting she started with us this evening. Oh, wow. Nice. Send us a picture on the Brad Smith art page. Oh, excellent. K is. Oh, cool. Sherry coming in hot with the great ideas. What is it? It could represent the wives and children trapped with an abuser due to the shutdown. Oh, wow. That's heavy and accurate. Yeah, that's true, too, because she doesn't know what to do, and the kid's scared. And he she's doesn't... holding him back. She's already got his hand on her shoulder. Yeah. Her hand. That's not bad. That's a great idea. That's so, kind of... so the kid could be, like, looking up at his dad, scared. Like, what is wrong with you, man? You gave me this pitchfork. What am I supposed to do no, with this? Stab Corona? A He's got to be more of a... Uh, Surrender flag. No. He's got to be more That's scared too than that. That's a great idea, Sherry. Thank you. And and they're in the cloud of his rage. Yeah. I like it. I like where that's going. So, funny little story. Um, one of my friends who's uh, very independent... Very, he's a kid. Oh, I showed 
his movie during the break, the, the guy uh, that was in the skirt. Oh, no, I was getting ready to, and then my dad showed up. Well, um, anyway, uh, super independent, loves the Confederacy, but is also, like, pretty centered on everything else. Um, uh, but, like, he op holds open debates on his, on his Facebook page. Really sweet guy, really fun guy. And he um, was posting something about how this facts are that corona has killed more people of than the flu has like the worst week of corona has killed more people than the worst week of the flu in history just you know the medical facts and uh he has a uh, he tagged his some of his friends that i guess he assumes that he knows are contrarian in regards to the coronavirus and uh of course the what do you what are the most kind of what are the names of some characters that you might see on the uh Dukes of Hazard? Uh banjo players? Pretty much. So, uh the guys the char the guys names that he tagged that were be that are corona contrarian. Billy Ray. Uh it was Festus and Dixie. You got to be kidding. I, was, I I typed on there. I was like, "Of course you have friends that are named Festus and Dixie. <laughs> of course you do, Chris. Anyway, Dixie just replied to me and probably with nothing pleasant. Dixie, nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's just such an old-fashioned Confederacy-sounding name. I didn't say there's anything wrong with it, it's just so old-fashioned and very region-specific. Well, You're never going to find a Dixie up, up in New York. Probably not. This dude is angry. I like that. The, the mom does seem scared. Yeah. It's a scared family. You always got to have a scared family. If you're going to do a scared environment. I saw in some of your movies they were doing Godzilla and stuff. That was cool. Yeah, that one was fun. That was a Dr. Pepper ad. Yeah, that was awesome. I remember when that it was the 70s. They did a really good job. I didn't realize Godzilla in, like, was... N the Japanese Godzilla was known over here in the oh, 70s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was throwback, though. Woody Allen made some movies about him. Godzilla, and he overdubbed English into it, and it was real yeah. funny. But, uh... This is looking pretty good. Thank you. The buildings remind me of something from the uh, Batman animated series, or that old Superman yeah. animated show I from think the. You're right about that. It's very Art Deco, straight. And yeah. Low, low kind of detail, but enough to get the yeah, message well, across. It's I'm, just, I'm still just blocking. Well, the it's all, well, it's abstract though as well. Yeah. It's representative of stuff. This kid is in amazement here. He's happy. His dad's making him proud. But he's not sure. His wife's crying. She's very upset. Sherry says maybe a sad senior citizen in the left part. Maybe looking out the window or oh, something. Oh, here, yeah. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Sherry. Sherry, coming in. Come Sherry, do you want to just paint this thing for us? Because uh, hey, you're coming in with it. all the ideas. Oh, I know what I can do. I can put a senior citizen right in this window like it's this uh, window. Oh, yeah, there. like he's in a chair or something. He's just looking in there, looking out there, seeing what's happening. Why see. are they arguing? It's only my life. Senior citizen couple in the window. Old white hairs. African American senior citizens were really at risk. That's not really because of their race. It's because they they live they live in uh, poorer areas. Well, or areas with more people that might be carrying it. 
That's the that's because of the Freeman towns. Thank you. Thanks. Is it? Yeah. The reason the African American community lives in poorer and more condensed areas is because after slavery ended, we distributed. They were like, all right, all right, all right. We'll let you live, you know, like regular people, but only in these specific areas that oh really don't. And we're not gonna give you any of our tax money. And you are also not going to fund your schools or or your hospitals or anything like that. So the you know, and then there you go. And then generations and generations of that. And that's where we are. That's what Chicago was. Yeah, that's true. Or at least boroughs of Chicago. Yeah, we moved to the suburbs, and man. I thought the South was racist, but Chicago, forget about it, man. Mm -hmm. There's some racist people up in there. It was way worse, honestly. Well, not way worse, but a little bit worse around the suburbs of Chicago, the N-word flying around. I was in this program called the Committee Against Racism when I was in, like, sophomore year. Brag about it. Brad hates racism. Jeez. <laughs> Little, but we had a bleeding heart over from here. Martin Luther King High School in downtown Chicago come out to our high school, which was all white. Mm -hmm. And so I took my friends, because I was kind of one of the leaders of the whole thing, being on the football team and everything. <laughs> and uh, back in the day, if you were on the football team, you were the leader of the entire school. And so, of course, I take them over to my face. Favorite sub shop. Have I already told this story? No, no, no. I don't want to retell it if it's if it's going to cause problems. But uh, and uh, my favorite guy who we all hung out there every day at his restaurant. I brought him in to introduce the guy that owned the sub shop. Yeah. Introduce. This is in McHenry, Illinois, when I was a sophomore. We went to inter I went to introduce him to the guy, and he's like, "You get those n words." He didn't say n words, but no, of course not. Out of here! I'm like, "What?" Mm. I couldn't believe this was the Chicago. '80s, probably maybe this the was '70s. 1978. Mm -hmm. I said, "What?" He's like, "I moved out of here, away from the city, to get rid of those folks." I'm like, "Oh, Chicago my man." God. Haley, thank you for watching. Good to check in. Thank you for checking story, in. But this is reality, folks. And ever since then, I'm, I've looked at you know we we always get criticized in the South as being the big racist place, but this guy was clearly racist, and we lived in an all white town, so I learned a big lesson there. Go figure. Yeah. All white town. There's racists there. Yeah. Wow. So, anyway, that's that's kind of a sad story, but um, I know it goes on, and there's underprivileged people everywhere. So, if you're just now tuning in, uh, welcome to the Brad Races is Bad, Racism <laughs> is Bad Corner. So, anyway, uh, it's kind of sad. He uh, started at three with a completely blank canvas, didn't even have a sketch ready or anything and no i i had just an idea in my brain from when i was moaning. and it was different i mean the the structure is still here but it was pretty different it was angry and i thought well let's not make this angry does everything have to be angry you know what i'm saying so here we are i mean we're not all too shabby together And if you're also just joining us, we have a Cam Cam and a Brad Cam. Yes. Exciting. I wonder if we can't get the um, the phone mounted as well and have like this, the wide shot here on the GoPro and then have put the phone on your head so that we have both. Lance Newhart, hey guys, happy hey, Saturday. Lance, Good to see ya. Look at that. Look at that shot, changing shots. Wow. All my people over there. Lance, we're getting high tech up in here. It's pretty cool. I've known Lance since he was 14. Okay, why, now, now I take offense to this blue suit guy. No, no, politicians are always wearing a blue suit, man. Blue's a good color. Scott Mims is watching. Scotty, good to see you. Hopefully you the... need to look at the stars. Blowing the stars all the way. 
kind of looks like a prison suit, but I think uh, it's a Brit uh, pinstripe suit. Yeah, the pinstripe, the monster suit. They love their pinstripes. So does uh, Ryan Gosling apparently, but his pinstripes are sparkly, so it's okay. Yeah, and he plays the piano, so you can get away with it. Yeah. But when all you do notice that he did, he didn't wear like a cool hat or anything. Well, like, a lot not... of people try, but I think uh, hats, cool hats, even if you dressed up as nice as he is, they're they're too um too loud. I think. Hats. It's oh, like yeah, you're trying too. To it's away. like you're trying too hard. You are trying too hard. You can't get away. You can get it. away with a nice retro suit, but if you add a fedora on top of it, even if it matches, you're trying way you're too trying hard. You're trying too people. hard. Ask Cameron about it. He's a fashionista now that I know that he's been watching Ryan Gosling. I understand where he's getting the. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's stick. his only. That's his only movie where he dresses up like that, but. I think this really could be a cool print. It's got a lot of color and stuff in it. Yeah, the ink costs on this are going to be astronomical. Yeah, that's what's cool about all this digital printing. It doesn't matter. We used to have to do all these color separations, but now the freaking computer does it. The beauty of it. The beauty of the whole thing. Ignore me. It's Twizzler time. You know Cameron's getting tired when he's eating on camera. I'm not on camera. Okay, I got the Brad cam mm -hmm. going. Hello, everybody. How about that? We're going to try to change it up next week. Maybe we'll do... Uh, We're going to be on something that does not cause our stream to quit in the middle of talking. That'll be the day. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, here's a politician, and here's his boss, Mr. Corporate America. Oh, I thought that was just shadow. Well, it's the same thing. It's a shadowy okay. figure that pays his salary by corporate donations. I should actually put some green in here, because the money's falling out of the envelope. Not too obvious, though. Not too obvious? Uh -uh. I think shadow is a nice touch, because it could be his shadow, could be actual shadow. Yeah, shadowy figure. Yeah, shadowy figure. Okay, but how about a little green up in here? It's not a great green, but it's a start, okay? Uh, K. Ray tried to post the picture on Brad Smith Art page, but it wouldn't let her. That's okay, but oh, she I'm sent it sorry, via Facebook Kay. Messenger, so let me have a look-see. Some of Cameron's mishaps today. He worked hard all week on this. I was just kidding about him starting on Thursday. He had this stuff ready to go, and then this happened. Is anybody getting that that's money? There's money falling out of there. Money in his shirt. He corrupts all. We all know that. Oh, there it was. I just closed out of it because the internet was going slow here. Sorry, Kay. He's having trouble. I always am. Okay, y'all. This one's going to be cool. That I can tell you. Many people are saying this is going to be cool. Many people have contacted me already saying how great this is going to be. They're telling me. Mm-hmm. This is going to be great. It's not fake news. No. Real news. Real art. Real snooze, if you ask me. <laughs> appreciate y'all joining us, because this is kind of fun. For me, anyway. Since I can't go anywhere. And uh, since I'm stuck here with Cameron for another week or two. At least. There's no telling. I'm not in any real hurry, honestly. Oh, nice. Um, he couldn't load the feed on Facebook, so he Scott uh, couldn't load the feed on Facebook, so he came to YouTube. Well, oh, we nice. appreciate the YouTube views, that's for sure. 
Yeah, that's that's how you. It's get a lot better, a and he's commenting via there, which means it is easily done. We sure appreciate it. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know why this patriotic kid's wearing a yellow shirt. I don't think his dad would really <laughs> let him. That's not the color of rage. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, loading very slowly, so I apologize. Sad, oh, there it is. That's cute. Brad, are you going to turn around and look at this? Bradley Joseph. Oh, yeah, nice. She's got her own style going there. Uh, I don't. We will probably post it to the page. Uh, I'm having a real hard time loading stuff right now, so we can't download it, unfortunately. We'll uh, share it here in a little bit. This is way too big. Gotta get that count up. Scott's right. He knows. He gets how YouTube works. That's right. Gotta get those sub numbers up. I've been mostly painting tonight, y'all. Trying not to. <laughs> you? Brad Smith, the famous painter? Trying not to make comedy so much. I'm more of a painter. I like Cameron at let me at goofy once in a while, but uh, he he's trying too hard to be cool the cool guy. I think he's just tired. No, I don't care about being the cool guy, I'm just saying. Just trying to, to make some interesting art. It has to do with what happened this week and stuff like that. This kid with his dad. Let's see, who's here? Lance and Scott. Lance. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything. Scotty. Scotty, you back to work, my friend? Well, I mean, he's out in the field getting blown over. Oh, is he? Yeah. Watching oh, I the thought stars. they weren't going to go out there. I don't know. I thought they decided not to go. I think they stargazing. just didn't bring the telescope. Lance and Natalie out there. California. We got fans in California. I don't know if y'all can tell, but Angry Guy's head is almost life size. Yeah, it is. And he is angry, dude. Look at him. He's got a redneck and everything. Lance knows what a redneck is. From shouting. University of Texas. He's seen a few rednecks. Carrie Smith is watching. Carrie Smith. Carrie, oh, good to how see you. Doing, Carrie, good to see you. Nice to see you, Carrie. Also, until we were friends on Facebook, I had no idea that that's how you spelled your name. Really? My entire life. Wow. Well, why would I? Well, I don't know, man. Oh, today when I was at Lowe's, um. I was sitting there with the pain, the things, and you know, waiting in line. And uh, I get up into the line, and uh, the checkout girl's name is Cameron, spelled K A M R Y N, something like that. Nice. And I was like, hey, you've got my name, but spelled pretty. And she was like, uh, thanks? Made it weird. I was like, uh, I was Here's like. Your hitting on her? I wasn't, though. I just said, you know, you know, it's my name, but spelled differently. You said pretty, though. They get well, that, that's how, with that. That's how it was spelled. It was spelled in a pretty way. You can't say the word pretty to anybody. Either. Apparently not, but, um, well, I mean, Sex is big. well, no, yeah, I wasn't saying it about her. What were you her. trying to do? Date her? That's but, what she thought. I mean, it seemed like that's what she thought, but I was, I was just like, no, nah, I mean, there's, there's not enough of us. It's not a very common name anymore. And she was like, is that all you want? 
No, she said, all right, your total's too much money. Get yeah. out of here, loser. Yeah. That's too bad, Cam. I'm sorry your technique isn't doing very well, honestly. What technique? Being friendly? Yeah. Nobody likes that anymore. Nobody likes friendly. That's not true. You can't do the di nice guy anymore. Nobody wants that. That's not true. You saw Ryan Gosling in that movie, right? Yeah. It was the star. He wasn't a nice guy. He was a super nice guy. What are you talking about? Remember, he was yelling at her in the car. He was a real jerk. He wasn't. He was unhappy. He got fired because he couldn't play Christmas tunes. How does that make him not a nice guy? I don't know. He seemed He's like, like the quintessential jerk. nice guy in that movie. Oh, is that? Yes, it turned out. But in the beginning, they had him going south. No, not even at the beginning. I think you're missing the whole the whole show. I've seen it twice. Well. <laughs> That's always your excuse. Leave me alone. I'm trying to work here. Okay. This dude is also spitting some red bubbles here. Oh, gross. He's got the corona. The corona's going. It's, it's got some blood. He's been shouting too much. His throat is bleeding. It's all over the wife. He's not happy about it either. There's no telling what she's upset about. It's probably got something to do with his bad attitude. Well, no, that the whole point of her character is we do know what she's upset about. <laughs> no, but not just one thing. She's not upset about the politics of the situation. I know, she's upset about being stuck in the home with an abusive dude. Yes, blood on his hands. Can anybody see that? Nice little subtle detail. Yes. He looks like he's got a prison shirt on. Maybe he does. Nothing against prisoners. <laughs> Can't aff offend the prison population. You don't want to do that, Cam. They know how to get you. Well, they're probably watching on the internet in prison. Probably. While they're quarantined. On their, on their big screen TVs. It's all very possible, y'all. We'll take all the viewers we can get. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I hope y'all like this because I'm enjoying it. This dude's very angry. This dude here has got money in his pocket. Do you have money in your pocket, or are you just paying to see me? <laughs> I bet politicians hear that a lot. Yeah. I bet they do. Is that documents or the newspaper? Or like a briefcase? There are no newspapers anymore. That's true. Documents. Shaking his arm. You kind of lost the uh, bubble effect here. Oh, I did. Well, I mean, you have like a the top of a line, but this is the Corona bubble. There you go. Now it's more bub bubular. Bubulike. That's not a very not a round, round bubble. <laughs> hey, man, who says they're all perfect? Uh, physics. There's no mistakes, remember? Okay, that was the original bubble, right? That's better. Somewhere. That's better. And this dude... What's the dude? big line protruding from her head to the tree? I don't know what that is. That just came out when I put some sunshine over here. Reality break, hello. There we go. That's looking good. This sweet couple's looking here. Do 
like, what is going on out there with these people? You need to put some white hair on them, or are you just blocking them in? I like the yeah, idea that they're just kind of like shadows, though. I do, too. Just a little bit. Show that they're old. What are the old folks doing? That's too old. <laughs> I went and put Cicely Tyson in there. You did what now? Do you know who Cicely Tyson is? No. She was in Roots. You, you have the, to realize that show is like 50 years old. One of the greatest African-American actresses of all time, Cicely Tyson. Hello, she's still out there working. I thought he knew everything. Yeah. When's last, what was the last thing she was in? She was re Look her up, man. She was recently in a movie. I saw her on some daytime talk show talking about it. Oh, I know her. Yeah. Hello. Oh, she was in The Help? Interesting. She's, in She's got one of those faces that's like, oh, I know her. It's Cicely Tyson, hello. Years active, 1949 to present. Yeah. She's 95 years old. That's impressive. I know this isn't all that exciting, but she was a great actress. Or she still is. She's... Yeah, she's 95. Yeah. Jeez. She was born in Harlem in the, in the 20s. That's what I'm talking about. That's crazy. I uh, would show y'all, but that's a lot. Of, they you know, know what Cicely Tyson was. Google it. I think that's pretty good for content and narrative stuff, though. That's Lance and Natalie going on there, getting older. Lance and Natalie are going to turn into an older African-American couple? No, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, maybe. They do live in California. They're, you know, They have options for plastic surgery if they want. <laughs> I just don't think it would be appropriate. No, there doesn't have to be. There, the characters themselves are non non uh, descript. They're not really any. They're just older. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't like this color though. Jack Ray, how are you doing tonight, my friends? We know you're out there being quiet. We know we got peeps out there. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. He's not going in any particular order, just kind of throwing them in there, making them. Yes, up. well, I gotta come back and detail them later. I'm gonna actually draw the right number. Ah, uh, no one's gonna whatnot. count them, and if they do and it's not right, then they'll think it's symbolism of something. Fallen states. Yeah. I never heard how Georgia did last week. Did you? Remember they said they went off of the thing. Very, very specific question there. Uh, Jack Ray early. says, doing good, guys. Just watching the magic unfold. Oh, good. That's awesome, Jack. Thanks for saying that. Is this the highlight round that this you're doing here? sort of like the bring it together round. Mm -hmm. It's getting to be near 10. Are you getting tired? Do you want to stop at 10? Oh, I'm not necessarily getting tired, but... I mean, other than detailing, which is something we can't really do with our current camera setup, there's not a lot left. 
And we want to get this print out there and sold, y'all. So. Next week, we've got to get our canvas. Let's Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm just saying, I might try a different supply. If you guys want to give us a tip to, uh... Cause, a clue. Because we're going to have to get a, a lot of, um... Paint, if that canvas ever shows up. A lot more paint. Oh. So if you guys want to give us a tip. There you go. Thanks for asking, Cam, but... Just let them wash. Without worrying about a tip for right now. Chrissy says, I love when the paint... When the white highlights bring the painting alive. Thank you. That's yeah, one of my favorite parts. Part. It's uh, very similar to whenever I'm doing color correction on a movie. It like uh, it, it changes everything. It yeah. Makes it makes it much more of a of the vision that you were going for. It makes it much more alive. Definitely. The highlights are everything, y'all. Sun's coming in there. This is what happens all the time. He goes in, he's like, I'm going to do this abstract thing. I know, I can't ever get away and with it. And then he just takes it to the next level, and then the next level. And I'll keep going all week until this thing really comes out cool. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come up with a real catchy name the night before I'm done with it. Here is the uh, scan from last week's picture let me see or yeah, last go week's check it out that one turned out cool um bubble so i'm gonna call it just a sec let me pull it up who's talking over there oh we got a crazy cat that's this, this one she always comes around around this time of night it's like what are y'all doing ready to eat i'm hungry why are you taking so long Here we go. Bam. Bam. Ooh, that's big. It doesn't need to be that big. Hold on. Transform. This is the one from last week. This painting's completely different than that one. But we'll see how it looks come, uh... You can, uh, also order that, hopefully, on the website soon, but you can order that by sending an email to me. Or, I mean, everybody that's watching is probably connected to me, so you just send me a thing. Facebook message or something. But that's looking pretty cool. It looks it looks dandy. That's last week's. That's this week's. Last week? This week. That's pretty cool. The photo came out really nice. Lots of detail. Yeah, see, I'll probably pull in that much detail on this one, too. See, and look, it's also a clock. 12, 3, 6, 9. So, so I'm going to try to get him to make clocks out of it. Uh, I don't know if the proportions are correct for that, but... Yeah, they are. It's good enough. Well, no, because the six is way lower than all the others. Yeah, but everybody knows when it's down at the bottom, it's headed towards the six. Does it really need to be spelled out? On a clock? Yeah. No, everybody knows. You don't even need numbers on a clock. I'm just saying, if they want to put it on a clock, a clock is round, and that's not going to fit so well on a round... No, no, I'm saying the clock can be s the shape of the painting. Oh, square. a square? Okay. And then the clock is just in the middle of it. I see. This dude's not happy. Well, I'm tired. Okay, Cameron's tired, y'all. Thanks for watching. I no, we, no, we can keep going. No, oh, that's cool. That's good. I got enough in there for now. Yeah, you do. Well, we have six minutes. Oh, okay, y'all. Until ten. And there's a couple over here. And they are... Hey, we didn't get kicked off this hour, so... Congratulations so to us. Right, but Thank you didn't goodness. play any music. That's not true. I opened with... Oh, I guess I didn't. Oh, it worked. No, well, I mean, last time I didn't play any music and I got kicked. There's no last sound. couple of times. It's just the aggregator. I gotta switch over. That's mm -hmm. Sam from earlier how to do it. Uh, he... No, he told me. It's just, remember, it was expensive. It was like $60 a month. Or, yeah. Oh, 50 a month. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, we're having there's other There's other options, I'm sure. Good to see everybody, really. It's been a blast today. I got to really do some work. 
come up with a new concept. I had no idea what it was going to look like. Certainly not this. No. Sometimes that makes it fun, just like experimenting. You think Pink Floyd came up with that stuff by not experimenting? Nice timely reference. <laughs> you think uh, Led Zeppelin came up with it? Stuff? Come on, come on, do someone. Do you think Lenny Kravitz came up oh, with it? Oh, dude, stuff? come on! Do you think Tom Petty? Oh, no. Uh, do you really think that... Uh, Quick, name a band that's come out in the last seven years. Uh, Louis Armstrong. No. I no, say in 70. the last seven years. Okay. Let's say 10, because since, since 2010. My, Miley Cyrus's dad with Post Malone. No, that's not a band. Oh, with a band. Okay, let me think. Uh, some... Young gentleman called 2K. Y2K. I forget what their name is, but they're from Japan. They're pretty talented. I've seen them on the Today Show. The girls go nuts for them. You know who I'm talking about? No. Is it can. a boy band? Yeah. No. Like Y2K or... All the girls go screaming for these guys. You could have... There's so many options you could have said. Why did you choose a boy band from Japan? <laughs> I don't know. That's the only new bands I can think of. No, I listened to some good new bands the other day. Yeah, none of whom are coming no, to your you, mind. You, grass, glass animals. Oh, on. there you go. There you go. That's within the last five Do years. Do you think anybody out there knows who that is in our audience? That's, maybe. Glass animals. Fantastic band. Uh, Leon Bridges, maybe. Oh, Leon Bridges. Come on. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. Charlie Crockett. Charlie Crockett, that's right. Uh, who's the guy that does uh, that song on you, that your mom liked? Uh, I, don't, I forget. He, Backroom from London. Bakar. Bakar. There you go. Since our show's about to go up, why don't you go ahead and play my favorite Bacar song and see if they cut us off? No. No? No, we can't get a copyright strike against us. It's bad. Oh. Jeez. Okay, well. Might I'll as well like break out the cocaine and see if the cops come and get us. <laughs> Is that That'll a be a good way to end idea? that. Jeez. I know some people. No, I'm kidding, y'all. I'm getting punch drunk here. His nose is itchy, y'all. No. I've been working for six whole hours. How dare I work so much? I thought I was on pandemic strike. I'm going to call the governor. That's a different different governor. Governor. He's, he's not governor anymore. Call him the governor of Georgia. What? Wait, what accent are you trying to do? Don't do accents. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. No, you're not. I'm not trying not to. There we go. It looks much better in my angle. I'm gonna the call the governor. We did uh, get him some new lights, so the yellow cast is no longer going to happen on this section, and they're dimmable as well. So. This is the guy who's got to give a briefing to Trump every day. <laughs> Does he have? Does he have a noose in his hand? He's, he might as well be. I mean, how can the guy give that guy a briefing without catching some royal cadoodles? Does he uh, have a... Is he holding a gun to his own temple? That's possible. Not that we're promoting suicide here. No, not at all. But, I mean, maybe for that guy. Can you imagine? Might be the easier way out than having to give a press briefing to... President Trump. Fausti, what's he saying? Uh, I don't know. They stopped him from talking. They did? Well, he's not going to be showing up in the thing anymore. What? He's the only guy they really trust. I know. Anyway, and with that, it is 10 o'clock, uh, and we're pretty much done here. Okay, you guys. Thank you for Scott joining. DeRoja! Scott you was... just came in. Uh, as we're closing out, but we'll talk a little no, bit. No, I can paint a couple more minutes. We got 
two angles. Look at that. Two cameras here. I'm adding some highlights up in here. The color I put on earlier is saturated into the canvas. Right over the George Bush thing, probably. Yep. Oops. Old George has got a green face. There's no till. No, it wouldn't actually go through the back, but you got to admit this brighter green's looking pretty scrumptious-ish. I'm curious. Maybe we should make a feature to show next week on what um, what kinds of canvases do you have hidden up there. Oh, Because no. you just pulled this one out. I know. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of them, y'all. And these are the ones that just didn't sell. I know. We we had some lovely, amazing donations and people purchasing our prints, so we are able to get a second camera. Yeah, it's, it's pretty to cool. upgrade our uh, show each cam, week. Cam Cam, Brad Cam. Yes. Why don't you uh, take uh, Scott through... I'll take... We'll do a little mini episode. Uh, hello! Welcome to... Wait, now, hold on. Da, 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 let's all go to the lobby. Let's no, show my opening from the lobby. Show my opening from the Would tomorrow. you stop? I'm doing a bit. I didn't notice. Go ahead. Sorry. I was, sorry, my bad. Sorry. Hey, I'm Cameron. Welcome to the stream. This is Brad. He's my dad. He does paintings and stuff. Um, Cameron's a filmmaker, and he lives here with me. Wow. How we're wacky. Quarantined. We're quarantined together. We have He's old. He I'm is. young. Scotty Mims doing satellite television. Uh, we've got Jack Ray coming up with interesting titles. We've got Kay Ray doing her own art in Mansfield. We've got Sherry giving us all the ideas for Sherry's her. Sherry's brainstorming over there with us frequently. Um, Who else do we have? We have... A whole brand new painting that started oh, yeah, from scratch today. Just starting it. It's not perfect, but believe me, by the it time it looks a lot better on this angle. See it on my Instagram. This is going to be really something to look at, y'all. Oh, I do have paint on my face. Oh yeah, you do. And all over my microphone too. Here is last week's painting, which is available for purchase. And that uh, was called the New World Bubble. This one still has a bubble. It's a little misshapen. But I gotta clean that up. It's too wet right now to do much to uh, it. Well, I mean, you know, you're tired because you had such a big workout today. Well, I'm tired too, yeah. Are you gonna show my workout? Is that what you're looking up to? You are such a bad improv partner! Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I worked out three times today. I don't oh know what you're God. going Okay, for. here's oh this thing. Hello folks, I'm Brad Smith, your loyal mural artist. Judging by the messages I've got this week, a lot of people want to know, hey, how does a mural artist stay in shape? A couple of the ladies said, man, I like the way you move that brush. What else can you move like that? I got a phone call even from one old high school friend who said, you know, your body is in just as good a shape as it was was in high school. I'd like to work out with you. And I think he was serious. I just wanted to give other artists a little pointer or two about fitness in general. So let's get into it. I'm working on thing like carrying my lap. Anyway, uh, it was really super spotty because our internet is failing over here, so uh, see the rest and actually watch it, not one frame per second, uh, on YouTube. I'll upload it tomorrow, probably, because there's some things i got to fix, like me saying, and action! <laughs> uh, Scott, you'll see the rest of it. Sorry about that. It was real spotty. Um, it, it, he just finished it like it 
two forty five as the show was coming on, so um, that's how he works around here. Well, uh, we've been busy, and we only shot it yesterday, so yeah. So thank y'all for coming, Sherry. Sherry Scott, Scott thanks. Deroya. Deroya. Um, De Roja. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate it. Y'all come and join us again. I'm I'm getting a little tired tonight. It's got it was really hot. It's like eighty something degrees. I mean, come on, people. Yeah, I'm wearing a suit. That's why I had to take it off. I had to go. Um, I had to go all Beto with the without the jacket. He doesn't wear a tie though. Anyway. All right, y'all. Thank y'all. Mom, get some rest if you're still up. Y'all YouTubers out there in Dubai, we'll talk to you soon. Our one of you are in Dubai who we always reference. <laughs> my and... friends in Europe, friends of my friend in Dubai. <laughs> Good to hear from you guys. Bye. Good night, y'all.